Please stand for the national anthem. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> Greetings to the graduates of the magnificent class of 2022. This afternoon, we celebrate the great accomplishments and the academic rite of passage of our students who have, in spite of the challenges of the pandemic, have successfully mastered and completed the academic requirements to receive a District of Columbia Public Schools High School Diploma. We salute all of our stakeholders for your unfailing dedication and sense of combined purpose that have paved the way for our scholars to sit in this arena as proud graduates of the class of 2022. This ceremony commemorates an important milestone in the lives of each young adult who crosses this stage. And we have given these graduates expectations of a dignified and respectful behavior. We ask that our audience also be respectful and dignified during this service. The use of air horns and noisemakers are not appropriate as each graduate deserves to have his or her name read and heard. If you have a cell phone, please silence it at this time. And now, please join me in welcoming the president of Frank W. Ballou Senior High School's National Honor Society and the mistress of ceremony, Alana Ransom, to deliver the welcome address on behalf of the class of 2022. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, parents, distinguished guests, and graduates of the class of 2022. 
Welcome to the 61st commencement ceremony of our school, Frank W. Ballou Senior High School. Today we extend to each of you a, walk, a warm welcome to celebrate with us the great accomplishments of the members of the graduating class of 2022. The most significant event in a student's life is none other than graduation. Today is a moment of opportunity that has come and will pass. Today we are filled with excitement, hope, and promise. We celebrate those who have met the challenge and kept the faith to the commitments of their studies, and we are grateful to those who anchored and prepared us as we journeyed through four years of high school. May we obtain clarity to understand our purpose and the courage to respond and step forward without fear or reservation. Again, welcome. My name is Alana Ransom, and I am a proud graduate of the class of 2022. At this time, it is my privilege to acknowledge our platform guests, Dr. Melissa Kim, Deputy Chancellor, Dr. Judon DeShields, Instructional Superintendent for Cluster 9, Dr. Willie Jackson, our principal, Ms. Shahanna Cartagena, Assistant Principal of Redesign, Ms. Crystal Cartwright, Assistant Principal, Ms. Erica Meyer, Assistant Principal, Mr. Kenneth Walker, Assistant Principal, Ms. Maureen Westover, Assistant Principal, Shania Robinson, Class of 2022 Valedictorian, <laughs> Tamia Martin, Class of 2022 Salutatorian, <laughs> Council Member Trayon White, Ward 8, Dr. Carlene Reed, Ward 8 State Board of Education Representative. <laughs> Pastor Scott Moore, our commencement speaker. And now, please join me in welcoming my classmate and the class of 2022 salutatorian, Tamia Martin. Good afternoon, Dr. Jackson, faculty, students, friends, and family. It is such an amazing thing to see so many here to support and celebrate the class of 2022. When I was first told I was salutatorian, I was excited until I realized I would have to write a speech a week before graduation. I felt it was impossible to fit four years of your life into a two to three minute speech because you can't. How would you know where to start? Well, I've written my speech, so now I'll do. I'll start off by saying how proud and honored I am to be a part of Frank W. Ballou's class of 2022. Every time I think of the memories from Ballou, my mind goes back to this profound moment I had with my mother on my very first day of school. I made a promise to her how I strive to be the best student and the best person that I could be. I didn't make so well on that promise at times, and that may resonate with many of us. Because, because throughout our four years, we've made mistakes, the wrong decisions, and not made the greatest judgment. And honestly, that's the best thing we could have done. All those mistakes, wrong turns, learned lessons have brought us to this point, and they don't solidify our senior year. However, the great memories we've shared and as we navigate it through, the bumps in the road do. So as a class, we must carry the moments and memories we've made in our hearts and our minds, and always know that it is okay for us to stray away from the paths that we plan out for ourselves to the paths that we slowly build along the way. Thank you. It is my honor to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Shania Robinson. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mayor Bowser, Chancellor Furby, Instructional Superintendent D. Shields, Principal Jackson, AP Cartwright, other platform guests, Baloo staff, parents, families, and last but certainly not least, the members of class of 2022. My name is Shania Robinson, and I'm your class of 2022 valedictorian. And to my fellow peers, we finally did it. Can you believe it? Just four years ago, most of us walked through Baloo's hallways as nervous as we were on the first day of school. We were the freshmen, the lowest on the totem pole. Just about four years later, we are being celebrated as older and more serious young women and men. 
We are leaving the same school behind that helped form us into the people that we are today. It has been both a short and long four years, Talisa said. Long because of all of the drama, many essays, late night homework assignments, early morning extra credit assignments, and all the other obstacles high school hit us with. Short because of the lasting memories, lifelong friendships, and truly amazing things that we learned within these four years. Good or bad, short or long, I will always remember Lou High School. While I'm thrilled to be a valedictorian, I can't say it's been an easy four years. We've been dealing with the pandemic, including still trying to recover from it, and some of our peers can't even say that they made it to this day with us. So again, graduates, we can finally say that we did it. <laughs> now that we are leaving Baloo, we have the tools that we need to create us into the futures that our hearts desire. Some of us will go directly into the workforce, some of us will go to the military, and most of us are enrolled into an institution of higher learning, but we will all continue to develop, grow, and thrive as human beings. We are at this point in our lives because we have refused to allow anyone or anything to stand in our way. Not COVID, not negative peer pressure, or any adversities that we face each and every day. We feel prepared to meet the, the demands of our contemporary society. I would like to thank the administrators, teachers, staff, and families who supported us during our educational journey. I would like to give a special shout out to Mr. Brown, Ms. Leroy, Ms. Light, and Ms. Coleman for helping me personally. Thank you for pushing us to be the best version of ourselves. Thank you for holding us to high standards and not letting us just settle for less. Finally, life is a book. It's time to close this chapter and write a new one. So class of 2022, let's go out and make a change. Do something different and show everyone who doubted us that we did it. Let's show the world that we are Blue Knights, bold, courageous, and outstanding. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to Lawan Coleman. Thank you, Tamia and Shania, for inspiring us with your message to the class. At this time, I would like to call Dr. Melissa Kim to the stage and to the podium to render congratulatory remarks to the class of 2022, followed by introduction of our commencement speaker, Ms. Lawan Coleman. Good afternoon. Congratulations to you, the Baloo class of 2022. Congrats. And as our wonderful valedictorian said, you have traversed a journey and you're about to embark on a new journey, a bolder journey, a brighter journey, as you have your graduation certificates with you and explore the world of many possibilities. But you do not do this journey alone. Today, gathered in this auditorium, are many of the loved ones, families, friends, all sorts of folks who've surrounded you with love during your early infancy to your early childhood through middle school to high school. So at this point, I'd love the Blue graduates stand and give a standing ovation to our families that have joined us today. You may rise, face your parents, and give them a lot of love. Thank you, families. Thank you. Thank you, families. We could not have this, done this without our families and friends. And again, you do not travel this with just your families and friends alone. To your right are your faculty and staff and the many other faculty and staff that you had along your journey that are not here. Let's give them a round of applause as well. <laughs> Blue graduates. You make us proud today and every single day. And I hope you get, gathered a lot of knowledge during your journey with us at DC Public Schools and at Ballou Senior High School. And I can speak for all of us when we say we've learned a lot from you. And we, cur we encourage you to stay in touch with us because once you're part of DCPS, you're always part of DCPS. We now have DCPS Persist that will stick with you to and through your college and career experiences. Please stay in touch with us because you will always be uh, DCPS forever and a, a wealth of resource for not only each other, for many other class to come. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good 
Good afternoon. My name is LaJuan Coleman, and I'm a proud member of the class of 2022. It is my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. Pastor Scott Moore is the founder and senior pastor of Judah Temple AME Zion Church in Mitchellville, Maryland. As a gift speaker, leader, teacher, preacher, and counselor, Pastor Moore takes a holistic approach to inspire people to become what God has purposed them for. He aims, he aims to help people develop a personal relationship with God and to grow spiritually. He dedicates his life to spreading the gospel of good news throughout the congregation, community, and international ministries. Pastor Moore continues to impact the lives of many through his leadership and participation in various conferences, workshops, and ministries. He continues to work extensively with young adults in Christian ministries. Pastor Moore strengthens the foundation of the church with the philosophy, if you minister the, to the people, people will change the world. I present to you Scott, Pastor Scott Moore. I'm sorry. And now we will have a musical selection from Zarion and Marshall.
Let's give Zayana Marshall another round of applause. What a wonderful, what a wonderful selection. Uh, actually, she had on a choir robe and she sang before I got up. I told Dr. Reed she made me feel like I was at church. <laughs> uh, but we, we're, we're excited about being here. Let me honor those on the podium, Dr. Kim, Dr. DeShields, uh, the principal, Dr. Jackson, to Dr. Reed, uh, to Ms. Cartwright, and to all of the distinguished guests up here, to the parents, to the friends, to the family of the 2022 graduates, but most importantly, to the 2022 graduates, we honor you today. We congratulate all of you, parents, friends, family, teachers, administrators, faculty, we congratulate you. But we congratulate the 2022 graduates because you made it. Do me a favor, you're not supposed to talk while uh, the commencement speaker is up talking, but do me a favor, look at the person next to you and tell them, I made it. Yeah, you made it, you made it, you made it. And that's good news today, and so we're excited about that. Today, I just want to speak. I, I initially planned a two-hour message. I had it all together. I prepared it, and, and I, but, but because of the time constraints as everyone's on, I'll cut it down to an hour and 50 minutes. No, I'll cut it down to about 15 minutes, and, and we'll be out of here. But I want to challenge you, and I want to uh, congratulate you as well, but challenge you today. I, want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I really want you to think through and hear what I have to say. Why should you listen to this preacher from Mitchellville, Maryland? Uh, because my bio talked about me as a pastor and as a preacher, but I, I've started businesses since I was 13 years old. I've been privileged to uh, uh, manage and supervise and hire hundreds of employees. I, I've been able to uh, establish real estate portfolios. I own businesses. So pastoring is what I was called to do. Uh, business is some things I chose to do. And so I don't have to get a great salary from the church because I was able to have business to support my family. And so I want, I want to just encourage you as graduates to choose success. And so, can you repeat after me? If you mean it, say, I choose success. One more time, say, I choose success. All right, some of you really meant it. Some of you said it just because you don't want to be left out. But the fact of the matter is, success is a choice. Success is not predicated upon your situation nor your circumstance. My mother, a single mom, raised me on the south side of Mount Vernon, New York. Anybody that knows about New York uh, and you know about Mount Vernon, most people that are older know about money earned in Mount Vernon. But I lived on the south side and there wasn't a whole lot of money being earned on the south side unless you were earning it on the street doing some stuff that you should not be doing. And so what happened, we grew up in the projects on the south side of Mount Vernon, but because of some choices that my teachers and uh, uh, my my coaches and, and some older folk taught me and told me about, I made some choices and I'm glad to stand here today and say that I've been able to be somewhat successful because I made some of the right choices. And so I want to challenge you to make some of the right choices. Can I do something today? I want to present to you, all of you, parents, family, friends, but most importantly, graduates, I want to present to you uh, some choices. I present to you life and death. I present to you blessings and curses. I present to you success and failure. And I want you to make a decision what you're going to choose. Now, some of you say, now that's, there's no choice in that matter. I choose life. I choose blessing. I choose success. Well, the fact of the matter is you can say that you choose something, but if you do otherwise, then the choices that you make may end up being death curses and failure and I pray that nobody here will choose make those choices because everything you do is about the choices you make and you every choice you make has a long lasting and life changing impact you say no nah, no nah, there's some choices that are small but the little choices dictate the big choices and then the big choices dictate where you end up and how you live your life and so i want you to think about what choices are you making today you know the richest place on the planet 
The richest place on the planet, it, it, it's, it's really not in the oil fields of the Middle East. Uh, the richest place on the planet it is, is not in the diamond mines in Africa, nor is it in Fort Knox in K Kentucky. It's not in Beverly Hills or in Hollywood. It's not in Silicon Valley, nor is it Wall Street in New York. The richest place on the planet is in your local cemetery. Unfortunately, because there are many that have died full of their potential that have left the earth not reaching the potential that was placed inside of them because they made the wrong choices. And I want to encourage you not to leave this planet uh, without fulfilling the potential and the possibility that was placed inside of you. I love it because the greatest love of all is inside of you. But what happens, there's potential and possibility inside of you. But you've got to choose to bring it out. You've got to make the right decision to pull it out of you because in each of you and I'm telling you each one of you have the solution to the world situation there is a solution to a problem that has been placed inside of you but you've got to choose to manifest that purpose that's inside of you and so if you're going to choose success I want to give you three quick things that you got to do because I really am a preacher and so when, when I preach I'm always giving three points but I give you this so that you can remember what I have to say all right, so the first thing I need you to do is I want you to choose to educate. I want you to choose to educate. Now, all of you just, your heads dropped. You said, oh, I just graduated. You said, look, I'm finished this. I'm, I'm done. Well, I want to let you know that as uh, our valedictorian speaker said, she said, it's just a new chapter. It's time to close the book of high school, but it's a new chapter. And this is not the ending. This is just your beginning. And so I want you to take the summer, chill, relax, get, you know, breathe and all that. But after this little season of rest, you have to choose to educate because life is about education. Leaders are life time learners you can never lead if you don't learn I'm still learning I'm telling you every day I'm still learning I may not be in formal education right now but I'm learning every day choose to learn it doesn't matter if you're going to college if you're going to business school if you're going to trade school if you're going into a career if you're going wherever whatever you're doing choose to educate choose to continue to grow in your learning don't ever stop learning because when you stop learning you stop living when you stop learning you stop leading when you stop learning you you uh, you really stop quench your potential to be successful and so I want you to choose to educate tell somebody choose to educate Second thing I want you to do, I want you to choose to eliminate. You say, what are you talking about, Pastor Moore? I want you to choose to eliminate. You have to eliminate some things out of your life and some people out of your life that are not going in the same direction. It's unfortunate because there are some that are listening today that are not going to be successful. Unfortunately so, but what happens is those that aren't going anywhere want you to stay behind with them. And so that's why they talk about you when you study. That's why they talk about you when you excel. That's why they say you don't have to, oh man, don't worry about all that. Because they're not going anywhere. They want you not to go anywhere so that you can keep them company in their failure. But I, I choose to eliminate the negativity out of my life. I choose to eliminate. I got to tell you, my best friend in high school, my best in the high schools my boy we played ball together we we hung out together but at a certain point he was keeping me from my potential he was keeping me he was keeping me from being who God had intended me to be he was keeping me from reaching the level of success I knew I needed and so at a certain point I had to say bro we can't hang out no more we can't do this I, I, you're still all right with me why because I'm going someplace and today he's still living in the same place that he he was living when we were in high school he's still doing some of the same things he was doing when we were in high school every now and then I reach out and holler at him see if he's all right but I had to eliminate him why because I didn't want that life for me 
You got to make a choice. What do you want? And if you see in somebody something that you don't want in your life, then you got to choose. I know, I know folk will talk about you. They'll hate on you. They, they, they think they'll talk about you, say you think you all that. Well, tell them, yeah, I am all that. Why? Because I am somebody. I was created for greatness. I am a leader. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I'm the top and I'm not the bottom. I am above and I'm not beneath. Why? Because I was created for greatness. And if you're not going where I'm going, then bro, I, I got to leave you behind because I need to eliminate those things in my life that are not good for me. Eliminate some of the negativity. I mean, some of the music we listen to, I'm not going to talk about music because then you'll say I'm old, but I am old because I can't even hear some of the music my, my, my young folk listen to. I can't even make out the words. But when you listen to stuff that's always ta- tearing down, pulling down, always talking negativity, talking about shoot them up, Talking about dropping it, like talk, calling girls, women out of their name, calling them a uh, sexual, uh, uh, calling them out of their who their greatness, and relating to them just because of their uh, sexuality and all that stuff. You got to be careful, ladies. Don't allow folk to treat you uh, beneath who you are. That's not who you are. You, you're not, uh, as in the Irish say, you're not your hair. You're not you all that wonderful stuff you are somebody special you're more than the long lashes that you look good and you're more than the long hair that you look good you're more than the long finger and now they look gorgeous I ain't mad at you put on your lashes do your hair wear your high heels but without the heels without the lashes without the nails without the makeup you're still beautifully you're fearfully and you're wonderfully made you're somebody special why because you have greatness in you fellas fellas you got to know who you are bro you got to realize that you're not somebody just because of the crowd you hang out with you're not somebody because your pants are hanging down you're behind and you walking and you all that you're not that's not who you are you know I would never want to wear my pants hanging down my behind why because what that symbolizes is that you're somebody's punk out of prison and that's what it really means it's a prison Get, get aware and you walk around and you advertise and they used to wear their pants like that because it was easy access in jail if that's what you all about then bro that's all right with me I, I'm not gonna wear my pants like that but what I'm telling you is that you're more than that you're better than that you're somebody special and what you got to do is make the choice to eliminate some of the negativity some of the bad behavior some of the folk in your circle can I tell you something? I have a young man even right now that I was helping out because he was in the car with the wrong people. In the car with the wrong people, one of his fellas had a gun under the seat. All of them got arrested. They're in jail. This young man hadn't done anything, never committed a crime in his life. But he's doing time because he was hanging out with the wrong people. You got to eliminate some of the folk out of your life if you want to choose to be successful. So tell somebody, I choose to educate. Well, I'll talk to the parents, the, 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 the graduates didn't want to talk. Parents, y'all going to say, I choose to educate. <laughs> All right. And then somebody say, I choose to eliminate. <laughs> and then the last thing I want to tell you to do, choose to elevate. You got to choose to go up. You got to choose to go higher. You got to choose to elevate your thoughts, elevate your mind. Why? Because there's an old African proverb that says your thoughts become your words and your words become your actions and your actions become your habits and your habits become your character and your character becomes your destiny. What are you saying, Pastor Moore? I'm saying that your thoughts control your destiny. And if you have negative thoughts, Thoughts, then you're going somewhere negative but if you start with your thought process if you get your thoughts under control if you start learning how to speak positive to yourself when you wake up in the morning look at yourself in the mirror and say I am somebody special when you look at yourself say I can do all things you look at yourself and say I can be successful why because it's already in me you encourage yourself ladies tell yourself you're beautiful tell yourself you're wonderful tell yourself you're intelligent fellas tell yourself you're handsome tell yourself that you're intelligent tell yourself that you're going to be successful why because when you speak 
speak to yourself, you hear it. And if I was in church, I'd tell you that faith cometh by hearing and hearing that which you're saying. So, so you got to choose to elevate your thoughts. You got to choose to elevate your friends. You got to choose to elevate your, 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 your circle. Choose to elevate your environment. Can I say this? And I'm going to really make my way to my seat. The most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. I'm going to say that again. The most potent weapon in the hand of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Because if he can get your mind, then he got you. And the problem with the time we're living in is many of us have been locked up in our mind. I'm talking about young and old alike. We think we can't do any better. We think that this is all that we can make. We think that our current situation is is the end of our road and I want to tell you you got to learn to think beyond where you are you got to enlarge your thinking think big think large think outside the box because once you start thinking it I believe R. Kelly said it and many of y'all I know we don't talk about R. Kelly much but he said if I can see it then I can believe it if I can do it there I mean if I can do it there's nothing to it why I believe he started thinking that he can do greatness he wrote it about Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan started thinking he was great and then Michael Jordan became who he is so you got to elevate 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 your thoughts elevate your standards elevate your relationships elevate your values elevate your expectations of yourself elevate your expectations of yourself all right if you're going to be successful then make up your mind that you're going to be the best at whatever you put your hand to do don't ever settle for mediocrity Mediocrity is just normal and average and you were not created to be and do average. Make up in your mind that you're going to be successful. Martin Luther King, the late Martin Luther King, he said, if it falls to your lot to be a street sweeper, he says, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures. Sweep streets like Beethoven con composed music. Sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived the great street sweeper who swept his job well, let me congratulate you and I present to you today life and death, blessings and curses, uh, success and failure. I'm going to give you the answer. I'm telling you, choose success. And if you choose success, then you'll be successful. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Moore, for your inspiring words and your charge for us to elevate, educate, and illuminate. At this time, Pastor Moore, will you please join me back at the podium? On behalf of the class of 2022, I present to you a token of our esteem and appreciation for taking your time to be with us today and for the charge you have given us to move forward. Again, thank you. It is my privilege to introduce the proud principal of Frank W. Ballou Senior High School, Dr. Willie Jackson. Yes, it's been a tough day, so. What's up, good people? How we doing? Let's hear it for the class of 2022. Yes, we are in the building. I'll be remiss if I do not acknowledge one of our fallen angels at Baloo Senior High School. Over the weekend, we lost one of our 10th graders, tragedy to gun violence. On behalf of our entire community, we often extend our condolences to the family, friends, and loved ones of TJ. So I ask you to bow your head for a moment of silence as we pay respect to one of our Baloo Knights, TJ. Bow your head, please. Thank you. 
Let's give TJ a round of applause. RIP, TJ. I have the awesome responsibility of issuing out some hardware, mean awards, to some of the greatest students I ever worked with. This has been a true journey for me to come back to my alma mater and be the principal. And I've really had a great time sharing in this moment with you guys. I'm really proud of you. And I want to do some recognitions at this time. So good afternoon. At this time, I would like to recognize the exceptional achievement of the members of the class of 2022. Of course, we want to recognize our class valedictorian, Ms. Shania Robinson. Please come up. To our class salutatorian, Ms. Tamir Martin. And to my leader, who always was in my office, in my ear, talking about, let's do this, let's plan this, let's do that. What you gonna do for the seniors? Our class leader, I present to Ms. LaJuan Coleman. Leadership Award. All right, our Citizenship Award goes out to Rashonda Anderson. Now, this next award was a tough one for me. I was looking at so many students for the most improved award. This young lady is a, is a published author. Um, she was one of the first students who always came to greet me at lunchtime. She always hugged me, always gave me a beautiful smile. I'm going to miss this smile. She always strengthened me when I didn't feel like it, so she encouraged me. And she already know who it is. She's looking at me, too. Look at her. Come on, come on, come on, Anaya Hardy. Come on. Let's hear it for Anaya Hardy, yes. How did you know it was you? How did you know? How did you know it was you? Because I know. You just knew it, huh? Okay, go that way. Okay, come on, move this way. Move that way. Move that way. Don't you fall. Go that way. All right. Let's hear it again for Anaya Hardy, y'all. Let's hear it. All right, this young man, uh, four-year student, very exceptional student, uh, this is the Principal Achievement Award, uh, Mr. Garvin Perrier. Garvin Perrier, let's go. Watch your step, Doc. Let's go, Gav. Good job, bro. All right, we got the hoopsters in the house, the ballers in the house. Our next award goes out to the Student Athlete Award, goes out to Mr. Demetrius Mitchell. Let's go. Demetrius Watkins, let's go. All right, this year the class of 2022 was asked to select a teacher who inspires the love of learning, is compassionate, 
has pushed students to be successful and encouraged them to pursue excellence. With consideration of these admirable attributes of an educator, the class of 2022 has selected Mr. Morale Miles as the inspirational educator. Come on up. Don't act like he's shot. You know the kids love you. The kids love you. All right. So we do have a special, a couple special awards here um, that we would like to present. Um, I would like to invite Ms. Vivian Bennett to the stage for a special presentation on behalf of the Marriott. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you, Dr. Jackson, for your kind introduction. Good afternoon, Baloo High School's graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Congratulations to both you and your families. To Chancellor Farabee, distinguished guests, faculty, and staff, I am honored and humbled to have been asked to make this scholarship presentation today. My name is Mrs. Vivian Bennett and I was blessed to be married to Mr. Raymond Bennett, a loving, hardworking, wonderful man, husband, father, and friend for over 28 years. Ray came from humble beginnings, growing up very poor in Detroit. His father became addicted to alcohol and cocaine, his mother became addicted to prescription and over-the-counter drugs. He was a graduate of the Detroit public school system. The odds were stacked against him. But with the grace, mercy, wisdom, and strength given to him from God above, he beat those odds. He, he graduated college with a bachelor's degree and with the support of caring mentors and scholarships along the way. When my husband suddenly passed away last month, he was a senior executive at Marriott International. Throughout his more than 30 year career that began with stocking shelves, store shelves with Pepsi cans, Progressed to, and progressed to overseeing more than 5,200 hotels that generated a combined $25.4 billion in revenue. Ray was known as a man of faith, a profound and wise leader, a caring philanthropist who believed the sacred scripture in the Bible that reminds us to whom much is given, much is required. Ray was passionate about mentoring young, young people with challenging backgrounds like his in order to help them get off to a solid start working in the hospitality industry. One way he accomplished this was by volunteering as a mentor at NAF's Academy of Hospitality and Tourism in DC Public Schools. Now it is a wonderful privilege to continue my husband's legacy by presenting the inaugural DCPS Marriott Ray Bennett Scholarship Award to this year's graduating CTE hospitality senior who exemplifies everything my husband stood for, hard work, perseverance, and diplomacy. This year's recipient will be attending American University in the fall on a full scholarship, has participated in two hospitality internships at the Marriott Marquis Hotel and National Stadium, 
has represented DCPS and, ba and Baloo as an elite hospitality scholar at the American Experience Foundation Independence Day Benefit, served as a moderator with a panel of professionals, including Mr. Ray Bennett, at Baloo's inaugural hospitality club meeting hosted through Destination DC during the pandemic. Has a personality that is infectious once you get past her quiet demeanor. She will be successful in her future endeavors due to her passion for community engagement and educational growth. On behalf of Marriott International, represented here today by Ray's colleague, Ms. Frid Edmond, Vice President of Platform Operations and Loyalty Global Operations, and my children, Gabrielle, Rachel, Michelle, and Michael, I am thrilled to present the $1,000 DCPS Marriott Ray Bennett Scholarship Award to Miss Tatiana Ellis. Tatiana, I know in my heart, I know in my heart that Mr. Bennett would be so honored and proud to know that you are the first recipient of this scholarship award, of this scholarship awarded in his name. We wish you all the best and much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's give everybody another round of applause. Yes, thank you, Mr. Ray Bennett. Appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I uh, definitely want to get back on track with our presentations. Uh, we have another presentation. Uh, this young lady was at Baloo when I was a student. This young lady pulled out 43 years of her life into the community of Baloo Senior High School. She will be retiring this school year. We would like to recognize Ms. Sharon Bean for her work, for her years of service. Ms. Bean, would you please stand? Ms. Bean, where are you? Where are you? Hold on, walk. We, 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 where, where's Ms. Bean? There she is, right there. Yes, 43 years. 43 years, we do have a token of our appreciation. We have the young legs up here already. Shania will be able to get your award and your bouquet of flowers for you. Thank you so much for your service. I love you. I adore you. You know, you know how we do. Thank you, Ms. Bean. Shania. Shania. Thank you. Let's give him another round of applause. Miss B, let's go, Miss B. All right, now this next award goes out to a person who inspires me. Uh, you know, being an assistant principal is not an easy task. I believe that's the hardest job in the school building, outside the principal, right? <laughs> but this young lady, you know, rolls up her sleeves every time I ask her to lead she steps out without murmuring and complaining because she loved the students. I will give her directives of not to go into the community because it's a pandemic, you might get COVID. I call her, what's going on? Well, I'm over here in Congress Park. 
Why are you in Congress Park? You know, so I have to do my, my work for my students. So this young lady has really rolled up her sleeves the last three years, especially as a 12th grade administrator. We don't want to let her go without honoring her service and giving it her all here at Baloo for every class that she has led. She has led three senior classes. Let's hear it for AP Cartwright. Give it up for AP Cartwright. We know it's not easy. Gee, you talk about full of surprises. I am so overwhelmed right now, as I did not expect this. But I give my all every day, day in, day night. Oftentimes, I'm accused of having favorites. To be honest, they're all my favorites. I pretend that I'm only doing something for one student, and then the next one will come in, I do the same thing. And they know at the end of the day, they have my hearts, they have my ear, and that they have my love. So it has been a pleasure serving you. It has been a pleasure working alongside you. I know oftentimes I have really pushed you to say I get on your nerves and I do the most and to go ahead, but know that I do it out of love and out of the expectations that you will change the world and then you will come back and give back to the person who are behind you. So from my heart to yours, I love you, congratulations, and thank you so much for this award. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a special shout out to our team, our 12th grade team for supporting AP Cartwright. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much for stepping up and supporting. I definitely want to take an opportunity to recognize Ms. Sarah Navarro and her team. Let's give DC Public Schools a round of applause and Sarah Navarro for always supporting our school and stepping up for our school. Thank you, Ms. Sarah Navarro. Thank you, thank you, wherever you are. All right, so this brings us to the time where we are ready to do our promise. It's been, it's been, it's been a journey. It's been a, four years. Uh, we've been together 565 days and counting. So when you leave Baloo, just remember that we will always be there for you. And as we get ready to stand, not yet, we want you to remember our promise. All right, so I will call Ms. Hardy back to the podium who will help us lead this. Ms. Hardy, come on back, that's right. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on back, Ms. Hardy. And she will lead us as we recite the Baloo Promise. Seriously? Yep. Seriously. All right, you may stand at this time. On three. One, two, three. It, it is, is to be. be. It, it is, is up, up to me. me. I am powerful beyond measure. measure. I manifest pride, poise, and perseverance in the relentless pursuit of excellence for myself, my family, my community, and my world. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. You may be seated. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can choose to change the world. So I charge you all to take everything you've learned from every experience every conversation and lesson with you into the real world and make the best of it. Continue to be bold leaders, courageous citizens, outstanding scholars. No, it's not going to be easy, nor will success knock on your door tomorrow night. But I want you all to continue to make progress. Whether it be in school, at work, or just becoming a better person in life, always make progress. In closing, I hope life treats you kind. I hope you have all you dream of. And I wish you joy and happiness. 
And remember, I will always what? Love you. Give yourself a round of applause. So now, we will call up the instructional superintendent, the chancellor representative, Ms. Melissa Kim, to the podium at this time. All right, this is the good part. The official part. The official part. You guys ready? I said, are you ready? Yeah. All right. And now, by the power vested in me by the mayor of the District of Columbia, Muriel Bowser, and the chancellor of the District of Columbia Public Schools, Dr. Lewis Furby, I here certify that the 78 members of the class of 2022 have completed and we completed all the requirements for graduation from Frank W. Ballou Senior High School. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Congratulations once again, students. On behalf of our Mayor Bowser and Chancellor Fairby, I enthusiastically accept that the, this class of 2022 from Ballou Senior High School has now graduated from senior high school. Congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, friends and families, I present to you the graduating class of Ballou Senior High School, class of 2022! Shania Robinson. Tamia Martin. Jemiah Pinkney. Alana Ransom. Karnaya Thomas. Gavin Perrier. Lanaya Pannell. Jamiria Newell. Erica Harper. Tatiana Ellis. Alexis. Alexis Ikenola. <laughs> Avion Akpene. Samari Alston. Randy Ames. Rashonda Anderson.
Monique Bell. Katea Bethel. Melkia Blacknell. Tyasia Bostic. India Bowman. Ayana Briggs. Daquan Butler. Jamia Butler. Avante Chappelle. Kamari Coleman. Lawan Coleman. Myron Cooper. Jada Cross. Kelly Cruz Osario. Akaya Davis. Brianna Davis. Janaya Duncan. Larie Francois. Jayla Garris. Melvin Hansberry. Anaya Hardy. Taekwon Hardy. Jarrell Harley. Destiny Harrington. Roshana Hine. Amaya Hinton. Isaiah Hunter. Tydreana Jackson. Armani Johnson. Brianna Johnson. Ayana Jones. Aaliyah Knox. Kennedy Lattimore. Renee Melton.
Jamie Murkison. Brianna Okoro. Kent Paris. Nicholas Pass. Michelle Pearson. Amber Rose. Victoria Rue. Kwame Rush. Andrea Staples. Jeremiah Street. Sai Tarawali. Gregory Thomas. Heaven Tillman. Julia Tolver. Kanice Turner. Maya Turner. Amaria Tindall. Zadeja Wade. William Vaughn. Imante Washington. Demetrius Watkins. Marquia Whitfield. Alasia Williams. Jordan Williams. Tejane Te Tanasia Williams. Tajane Williams. Samuel Willis. Ayana Winfield.
Nadeja Wingfield. Shania Woodward. Timothy Butler. Kayla Young. Daniel Wright. Dennis Ziegler. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2022 from Frank W. Ballou Senior High School. At this time, I ask the faculty and staff to stand and to join us in the singing of our alma mater. But before we do that, before we do that, you may stand, you may stand. Before we do that, I will have as a certification and a symbol of our approval I will ask our graduates to move their tassels from right to left. I will be remiss, keep standing, I would be remiss if I didn't have an opportunity for our council member to come up right quick and offer congratulatory remarks right quick before we close out. Councilmember White, let's give him a round of applause. So as a fellow Blue Knight, I say welcome alumni. I'm going to leave you with this. You're going to have some very challenging moments, and life won't get any easier. But you're tenacious, you're bold, you're brilliant, you're resilient. And those traits we learned growing up in this community will help you to go to the next level. It's not about what they say, it's about what you say. Confucius said, whatever you believe about yourself is true. If you say you can, then you can. If you say you can't, then you can't. And so believe in you, because you are a knight. Congratulations to the class of 2022.
Thank you, Cash Member White. At this time, I ask all the graduates, the class of 2022, and the Falcon and staff from Baloo Senior High School to please stand. Everyone stand. And join us in singing of our alma mater. All right, you may be seated. You may be seated. All right. As we get ready to close out, I definitely want to give a special shout out to Mr. Darrell Watson, our band conductor. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Alumni, Mr. Watson and the band. <laughs> to the faculty and staff and all the ushers, the security post, thank you so much to our janitors, to our platform guests, to everyone who made this possible. Thank you. We cannot do this without you. For those of you who know the words of prayer, keep continuing to pray for our young folks, uh, covering up protection over them so the evil, will not, evil one will not take them from us. So again, thank you for coming out. Thank you, parents. Thank you for being my partner over the last four years. Let's give our parents a round of applause and our family a round of applause. We thank our security officers, MPD, everyone who supported us this school year. We could not do this without them, even from the cafeteria workers. So at this time, we will ask that our graduates please stand and everyone remain seated as every graduate and members of the Falcon and staff exit the arena. At this time, the class of 2022 graduates from Frank W. Ballou Senior High School are asked to prepare for the recessional. 